Hey guys, Tarp with Cyclone FPV. <clears throat> Getting ready to open a box here. Uh, came from a customer of ours. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, just wants us to check his workout, actually. Um, he, I think everything's working fine for him. If I'm not mistaken, he said something about his VTX. Just, uh, he had to wire it up, and he was concerned that he wanted me to check his wiring. He said he MacGyvered it. So we're going to go ahead and open this up just to check it out, make sure he's done it right. If there's anything that needs to be corrected, we'll correct it for him. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. See what we got. Let's see what's going. So we're running the petrol. All right. Uh, okay. Now I'm getting confused because I know he said he had. He wants to put this on here. Wow. Okay. All right. Hold on. Now we got to see what's going on because it was my understanding that this RMA was coming in for a VTX inspection. But by the looks of it, it looks like it's coming in for a receiver install. So we're gonna to try to see what's going on with this. I have a feeling this is just going to be for the receiver now. So let me let me close this and pull this RMA up because it's not making sense to me now. So let's see. This is going to be RMA. This is like an ongoing RMA for different ones. So, uh, okay. Well, just quick, I this is the whole week of slam at work, shipping the petrol RMA, five, but I'm definitely going, okay, the petrol. Uh, petrol, okay, so this is the petrol. Uh, okay, so this is the petrol, what they're doing. So he needs the Fly 14, but the set me weeks ago as it, BNF XM post, they sent me the few emails. They said to hold out the BNFs after tomorrow were processed. It was just hoping I could work his magic and put an XM plus on so I could fly it. Oh, so all we're doing is installing an XM plus. Well, this is easy. Okay, so the fly 14, I'm not sure. I guess we're just installing an XM plus. All right. I'm getting confused, but I think I'm getting it because that was the last message. Let me see. So I could fly it. Okay, so let me go get the XM Plus real quick. <clears throat> Let's see, XM Plus is right here. My coffee is right here. And you have to have your coffee if you're gonna install the XM Plus. <sighs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. There's XM Plus. I'm gonna peel back these wires. I'm just not these wires, this uh, paper. Get it off of here, don't need it. Okay, I'll put the directions, everything else. Actually, I'll say the directions so you guys can see it. Put everything else in the box. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is let's go ahead and look at the, let's go ahead and get our receiver on, I mean our soldering iron, and let's put everything else away so we can just work on this. Okay, let's go ahead and open the directions on the XM Plus, the manual, to show you a few things. So most important thing to notice is that when the antennas are facing up, your buy button is on your top right, and you can see the order of the uh, plugs here, which is going to be S plus 5 volt and ground from the top down or ground 5 volt from the bottom up, whichever one you want. So <clears throat> one thing we know for sure is that the bottom, uh, the circle is going to be, <clears throat> the bottom circle is going to be ground, the middle is going to be 5 volt, and the top is going to be your S plus, okay? Now, HLRC does a real good job of getting their uh, cables pre-soldered, and so what we're going to do is we're just basically going to snip that right there, and we are going to... 
strip these wires and then we're going to use the flux pen on them and then we are going to tin them and then we will also tin the board and we will solder these and we will log into Betaflex to make sure it's all done right. And that'll be the end of it. Okay, so there we go. Once you put the flux pen on them, go ahead and twist them by holding the metal strands and twisting the silicone. Don't try to twist the strands, it's not gonna happen. Not as good at least. All right, so just hold them and twist the silicone. There you get some pretty nice tight wound up uh, strands there, so that's gonna be good. Next, we're gonna go ahead and I'll put my old man Magoo goggles on. There we go, okay. One, two, three, okay. There we go. Now it's tinned. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cables here trim them. I'm going to put the paper over them so I can get these off the table make sure they don't end up in motors or anything. So let's trim one, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and solder them. Start with the S-Bus. I'll put this down to hold it in place. Here we go. Bus is done. Go ahead and tip of that. Five volt. Bolts are done. And ground. There you go. All three are in. All right. Now we can put this away. The wire cutters away. Flex pen goes away. Trash goes in the garbage. <clears throat> and tweezers go away. All right, bench is back to being clean. Now we're going to go ahead and take our heat shrink. Measure about five mil on each side extra. Right here, that's a little bit more, but that's fine. Not worry about it. Put that in. Like that. Ignore the dogs barking. They're driving me crazy this week. All right, get our turn that over. Okay. I need to lower the temperature on this. I forgot I was desoldering uh, MOSFETs and capacitors from ESC, so I had this really high. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, so that's done. Now what we can do is we can test it. Now I am going to have to uh, disconnect, ignore my Yorkies. They are fighting and having playtime, so I apologize. Uh, in order to make this work and have you see it, I'm going to have to disconnect actually the um, VTX so it doesn't cut out our our uh, signal, our wireless signal to the cameras. So that takes me two seconds to do. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to pull it here. Let me wait for the solder iron to get hot again. There we go. All right, so I'm going to leave that like that. All we want to do right now is we want to see this light up. All right, if we could see the, if we could see this light up, we know we're good. And there we go. Okay, so we're good here. So that's done. Now we can go ahead and I'm gonna put that red wire back. Now, 
As for finding a place to put this, there's a couple options, right? So you can actually squeeze it right up in this canopy here, okay? And still give access to the customer to get to the bind button, all right? Or you can take it down here, right there, all right? And then uh, you're still able to get your antennas up and get them through. So my advice usually is to just put it down here and use two zip ties. So let me grab two zip ties. I have them. I do. All right, and we're just gonna cross zip, cross tie them basically. So you're gonna put <clears throat> one's gonna go this way. You don't want to go under the XT30 cable, so just go around like that. Bring that in. Go across it like this. And to keep it from twisting like it wants to do naturally, you put the other zip tie in. And again, cross it over, bring it up. I've got mine twisted, hold on. Ah, I missed my, uh, I accidentally put it, I missed the board, so let me do this one again, because it pulled onto the ground wire, which I didn't want to do. Here I am trying to do this, and I think the problem is I made that one too tight before I could get this foot on there. So let me just go ahead and redo this. Try to get the fit a little bit better. There we go. Now we'll go back and do the other one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here a little bit closer so I can get this held on pretty good. We'll just cross them like this. That should take care of it. There we go. Perfect. So we want to have that little X right there, right? And that's going to keep this pretty centered and right where we want it to be. So it's not gonna get much movement at all, then you can go ahead and just cut these. All right, and then the next thing is to just make sure that you put everything out of the way so you can still get to the bind button if you need, 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring the antennas this direction, okay, and then we'll bring them up. This way they'll definitely stay out of the way of the props. So let's go ahead and put this one up here, just like that, and I'll put this one. antennas pulled through properly all right and the last thing we're going to do is make sure that we get our cable put here just like that and now we can tighten everything back down we will straighten out our cap as well all right so there you go now we go back and close everything up Remember with these screws, they go in from the bottom and the lock nut goes on the top. Okay, and so what we've got now is we've got all our stuff set up here. Now, if you want to put uh, like a dab of hot glue or something, you can. Uh, I think what I'm going to do, though, and that is to just keep these wires together. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one last zip tie, actually, and, and just kind of bundle it all together. So let me just bring a zip tie right around here. And I don't... Let me just get this right in between the wires that I want. And I want some more, so I'm gonna take the VTX wires too because they're all kind of sitting together. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna bundle those, including the antennas. And I'm just going to, I mean, it's, we're, the zip tie won't even crank down all the way, but we're just basically trying to keep them together, just like that. It's nice and loose. You don't have to worry about anything, but at least you know everything's gonna stay in its place. Cut that off. And there you go. You've got yourself a nice little setup there with your receiver perfectly in place so that you can, um, so that you can uh, uh, do the binding if you want to. Now we can put our antenna protectors back on. There's one right there. Put the other one. Run right there. Look at that, and you're all done. Everything's good, now we'll turn it on one more time. Rule is usually that once you do any work at all, even if you turn it on prior to, if you touch it again, you need to check one more time, make sure everything's okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn it on one more time. Ooh, you know what? I'll have to, I'll tell you what, I'll do that when we're done because it's gonna interfere and I'm not gonna disconnect the VTX again. But anyways, this is what you should end up with, okay guys? So that's it, that's how you put your XM Plus in there and everything else is already pre-wired, so all you have to do is tin it and attach it, right? Guys, if you have any questions, as always, please get on over to our Facebook group. You can join it over there. You see the address below at the bottom right there. And again, as always, I am asking you to please subscribe to our channel. I do have intentions of trying to be uh, to try to be invited to the next uh, YouTube versus TikTok fights, but I have to have a good following first. Ah, I don't think it'll happen, but hey, I can at least tell my kids I'm trying, and that makes them feel good. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe, and most of all, spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly tomorrow. Enjoy the nice weather in Texas. Finally, talk to you soon, guys. Peace.